Hello! Welcome back to my Let's Play of Hero Wars. Like I said, we'll probably do the rest of those tickets towards the end of this because we did we did enough to get to top three. So we got the uh, Mira with the uh, glasses unique. Mira's kind of a cool character. I should have looked at what we're doing. We we're chattering again. This is how I always mess up on the Grand Arena because I don't look what I'm doing. And I didn't pick good targets. I'm like, I probably didn't pick good targets. Maybe we'll win. Actually, we're destroying this one. Rackney's probably going to lose or something though. Well, that team didn't do anything. Yeah, no, this was a bad pick. Yep, bad pick. Level 180 Yasmin. Like I said, I just kind of didn't look at what I said. Like I said, out backwards. Yeah, Rackney should have been on that one, then Aurora on the bottom. Like, oops, messed it up. Did it too quickly. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I needed a Rackney on top. That's fine. So let's, uh. Yeah, sometimes I get chalking when I'm trying to think, and then I don't look at what I'm doing when I'm talking to you guys, and uh, then I do that, make a mistake, but that's fine. Not the end of the world, just a grand arena fight, so. Da da da, gold. We got a lot of gold now from all the lore seekers bags. They are good for that, that's for sure. Gift of the elements, support hero, huh? Fine. Warrior hero skills. How far are we from our next level? Ah, uh, it's a ways. Adventures. All right, so let's see. Let's got. But, uh... Well, that ain't gonna do it. How close? We're pretty close. We might go for that. Just because we're close. Getting levels up are pretty good. That leveling up faster is not necessarily a bad thing, like especially when you're close. You don't want to spend too many like emeralds and stuff, but like trying to get higher leveled is a goal is a worthy goal as well. So let's see, we got so let's grab these. Got a lot of artifact keys right now. Nice. Got some chaos cores. There you go. Not enough chaos course to evolve it. <clears throat> That's probably going to be the next goal is just to get everyone's artifacts to four stars on pretty much everything. Like, because uh, going to five stars is a lot more, but uh, like that's kind of what our medium term goals are. Like, a warrior skill. So let's see. Well, how much energy? We just need like 200. 
Well, let's do it. Let's see, who are we working on? We're working on this one, right? I don't think it matters. We <clears throat> kind of go all over the place. There he goes. Okay, now we can level up everyone. Level up skills. Oh wow, we could equip the Book of Fate on Celeste. Or the Book of Tells. Tempting, but uh... Probably want to get uh, Maya to the next rank. Let's go to pets. There he goes. Level 85. And do we have particles for... Let's get her to green. There we go. Now she's green. <coughs> now she can mind control. Warrior skill. Okay, so who else is a warrior? Ishmael? Ishmael or Astrid, huh? Well... I guess we have to give them seven levels? Yuck. Fine. Oh, we don't have skill points. <clears throat> well, what is the rewards? I think we just wait it out and do it later. We did level up Ishmael though, so like, what else do we gotta do today? Level up a skin. Ooh, we're so close. Do we have any boxes? No skin stone boxes, so... That won't work. Probably soon, though. Um, more mag pen. Chest and tower. <clears throat> Let's go grab our Titanite. So we gotta go do uh, our Osh fights here, so we will look at that. Guess we want to do tower next. Then we'll go do our fights against Osh. So we get a bonus for opening more tower chests today, so it's probably fine. Nice. 
Uh -huh, skip. I like items. <coughs> we really need those too. Oh, come on, we need those. There he goes. All right. Oh, we didn't do glyphs yet. We already have like two complete helms, so we'll pass on that. <clears throat> we'll need them later, but we don't want to spend too many emeralds and stuff we don't need in the short term. Because it's going to be a while before we can get to like range 2 or whatever we need to that stuff for orange three something like that this one we do need though last fight Like I said, we won't need lycanthrope fiends for quite some time, so I'm not worried about them. <clears throat> Got those. We actually don't need them yet, but Aurora's gonna need those, so we're just gonna grab them. Because Aurora is a hero we are gonna be having more focus on, so... And we can open all of these things up. One more chest gets us another doll. Ah. Uh, well... There it goes. I guess we will get it this time, just because uh, we'll get one more reward. Prison dolls. Otherworldly dolls. These have skin stones in them. Should have opened these earlier. See, now we actually have enough to level up Aurora's skin, but that's fine. We'll do that tomorrow. More dolls. Ooh, wrong box. More dolls. More dolls. 
Dang it. A lot of skin stones, though. Keep coming. I actually like these dolls. These have good stuff in them. All right, so let's forge. Question is, who do we want to work on next? Probably Maya, since she's like our next like damage after Aurora, so maybe we'll work on Maya's magic glyph. <clears throat> There we go. Nice. An extra 1500 magic attack. Should be a nice buff lift. How many pet eggs do we have anyway? Didn't buy this one. 58. Like I said, we want to keep 80 for like great storm events, and we'll kind of just kind of, when we get over 80 though, we'll probably spend excess when like Kane's up on the pet of the day, because we do want to get Kane up. Ooh, nice. Oh, advertisement. Ooh, nice. We got Raven's Hordes. My ranking for Arena yesterday. All right, so let's open some of these things up. Keep coming, Raven Hordes. Oh, nope. Got some eggs though. Eggs are nice. Wow, energy. Okay. We got some good stuff. So, so let's start doing some of the campaign. I think we could probably handle this stuff now. Jorn's hut. Gust of Jorn, grown ancient in these lands, saw both of the rise and the bloody fall of the Nordic nation. Even he wept like a baby. <clears throat> I bet you I can. We can beat this now. If we're like eight levels higher than the last time we tried it. And Maya can actually buff Magdef, so. There we go. Just like that. Stuns. That's why Arachne's good for against these guys. Because uh, she just stuns them and then you can move forward. It's the stupid charms that suck. Maybe we should bring Chorus in. Honestly, Chorus has... Chorus might be better to help, like I said, protect against the mind control. Like I said, you see how Arachne target that fast? Because they have relatively low health. So they kind of die easy from like the AEs and stuff, but Arachne usually targets them with the stuns. But uh, that magic defense makes a huge difference. Even just 714. And then, boom, stuns. There you go. See?
Go Arachne, stun that punk. <laughs> Rainbow Halo exploded and killed him. Just like that. See, now we got three stars. See, like in the fame, Book of Fate recipe, which we probably need, but... Alright, and then Warren Hut. Both in snow and slush, this road was the only way to the long ship moorings. It used to be so crowded. Lamort's cards here. Which are good, we'll need a whole lot of those. No music. Now the music got really buggy in this game since when I played it the first time. Probably should have looked at the enemies before we had jumped on here, but you know. Bye bye. There's the music. Ragni stunned to rise it tried blowing. Oh no. <clears throat> <laughs> like I said, Arachne is pretty good. The magic death buffs from CMI are good. Thea's are weak though. We don't have like really any investment into our artifact yet. But because Maya's up further, um, she gets to use her ult more often usually. Plus her ult does a lot of damage, so that's why we focused on Maya first. Wow, her dodge sucked. We just deleted her with Kane. Yeah, no, that's what Fox does though. She put Nox back, like, in stuns. Like, she used to be really good pre Anvari, pre Sebastian. Like, Anvari was like the newest hero in the game when I started, but uh, Fox was pretty good in those days. Like, I actually used to really like Fox, but Sebastian kind of ruined her pretty hard. Uh, the Mark of Red Death is a symbol of the Leech of Darkness. It marks territories controlled by Twisted Magic. Frozen Visage, Master of the Forest. The Mind Control Witches. Whatever they're called, I forget. Charming Voice or something. But uh, rainbow halo damage heads up a lot. See, she just killed down with the rainbow halo. Then Arachne's gonna stun that one. And dead. Mag Mag Rainbow Halo damage. But no, Aurora is super good for this such uh, these chapters of the campaign just because uh, Rainbow Halo just they will suicide on Rainbow Halo a lot of times. It's all magic damage in this chapter pretty much. Like just like that, Rainbow Halo. Damage.
Bye bye. Shoot, Aurora got pushed back by Fox. There you go. Grimling Camp, dear Nords, risen as Draugr. Dars are dead Nords, risen, ri rise, risen as Draugr, return to their former homes. What strength of instinct. Lady Minstrels, that's what they're called. We got a la carte amulet fragment and Book of Prophecies recipe fragment. Stuff we kind of need. Book of Prophecies, we're actually trying to pile up a lot of those, which is actually good, because we will probably use all of them. Alright, so let's do this. Again, no music. I don't know, maybe that'll fix the bug. Who knows? There we go. Heidi's down already. It's like almost like almost all the enemies in this chapter use like magic damage though, so it's just like Aurora just tanks like a champ. But I'll watch, they will start suiciding. Just like that. <laughs> all that magic damage caused the rainbow halo to explode. Bye bye. Just deleted Lady Minstrel. Nope, we ain't gonna see another explosion. That's fine. Alright, Alucard's amulets. Mountain tunnel. Impenetrable darkness, lit in brief moments by blazing torches, leads the way to unknown dangers. Oh, she's been hexed.
There you go. There you go. Mm. Yeah, no, just buffing up that magic defense buff makes pretty much all the difference there we need, plus a few more extra levels. Arachne is really good for these chapters because you can just stun them and then you can uh, fight them actually. Panoptic or recipe fragments, we need some of those too. The bear corner, the beast that dwell here couldn't resist the dark witchcraft. Any of them would eagerly tear out a traveler's throat. Oh, magic hat fragments. Get Krista souls here. Oh, the music's still broken. Broken music. Uh oh. <clears throat> twins doing twin scenes there. Oh wow, Celeste died. Maybe we should have healed. That was a mistake. We might want to rerun this mission. We let Celeste die. We should have just left it in auto. Like I said, we'll just run this mission again right after this. Because we would do want three stars and I just messed up. Like I said, I, I just was trying to be greedy. Like I said, had heals up and everything, so I was just trying to save for the next round. Figured we would get through it, but nope. Didn't work out that way. <laughs> Rainbow Halo damage adds up really fast. See? Just got killed with Rainbow Halo. Like, look at that. We almost did a million damage there. That's all that rainbow halo damage there. But we gotta do this one again. Because, uh... Yeah, we messed up there.
Oh, shoot. And Celeste died again. This time she died super early, so... Blame. Fine. We're just gonna roll speed through this here. We're gonna try again. I don't even get good items from this one. This sucks. The thing about Eye of the Storm is it's actually kind of random in how where it moves your character, so there's a bit of randomness to it. All right, third time's charm. See? Like I said, we're just gonna blow through it now. Would have had the first time, but no, I messed it up. All right. Alright, there we go. Hunters dugouts. Fortunately, few wander into this place, nor do hunters choose their victims quickly. There you go. Yeah, we gotta go. Like I said, after this chapter, we're gonna fight Osh and do our arena fights. Let Aurora advance here. Wow, we actually landed silence. That's a miracle. <laughs> Rackney's so good. They have this uh, interesting dying animation too. Almost done the chapter. 
Doomsdale, the dead Nords have found the terraces of their descendants' southern capital, home to the Trappers and Hunters, quite to their liking. Get crystal souls? Oh, and the music stopped. The music died. Come on. Just kill it. Like I said, Chorus would probably... If I wanted to use Chorus, it'd probably block a lot of those Lady Minstrel mind controls. But they haven't been that devastating, so... And Kane does a lot of damage. Just like that. Bye bye, Fox, you just been deleted. Rainbow Halo killed them both. Oh, we got Aurora plus the twins, huh? I know about teams like that. I've seen them before. They're actually pretty good. Well, that's such a waste of games. <laughs> Oh wow. Twins are pretty good, man. They're killing me. We're probably not going to retry this one yet. We might at the end after we finish the rest, but uh, we got killed by Lars again. Lars been kicking our butt through this uh, campaign here. Got a crystal soul. Everfrost, these icy depths keep the memories of the long gone, happy and peaceful life of the Nords. Alchemist said, Everfrost, I remember that place from EverQuest. Good old Everfrost. There you go. But all those 20k hits kind of add up from like the rainbow halo. Just like that. That's why you want my high mag pen on Aurora. Should always be like said, like Magpen was like the second glyph I went for after dodge, because Magpen is such a big deal on Aurora.
Booyah. Nice. Cold Ridge. The cold seems unbearable, but those hungry for treasures can withstand anything. Like I said, 19324, like on Rainbow Halo. Watch. See, that's a Rainbow Halo hit. <laughs> that's why Aurora is so good for this part of the campaign. Like, she just. Rainbow Halo is just so good. Oh, shoot. Celeste died. Might have to do this one in manual here. We'll see. Once we get to the end of here, we will probably go through... So we might just have to just work on a Celeste Mag Def Glyph. Gosh, Lady Minstrels, there's two of them. When there's two of them, they are kind of annoying, especially when you have Celeste. Definitely missing Celeste here. go. Oh no. Mind control. Berserker Gorge. They say true berserkers were merciless. So was their fate. Do you see those skulls? Alchemist Decets. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Oh yeah, a couple more uh, missions in this chapter and then we will do Arena and then Osh. Crystal waters, tread carefully over the magical blue ice. At any moment can crack to undercover the abyss, abyss below. Nice, Thieves Signics. There you go. Plus 18 or 24 magic pack, yeah. It's not a big buff, that's for sure. But we'll get them up soon enough. Nice. Okay, time for the boss. Astralid Gunnar, the Ferocious Grotto. Even Gunnar has left the ancient abode to escape the monsters that have settled there. Shadvarak's servants are merciless. Astralid, you also get uh, Helios souls. Can probably uh, level up uh, Ishmael's skill now for the quest.
right. Okay. Here we are. This will probably be an easy boss because there's a lot of physical damage. Unlike everything else in the campaign, this guy is most pretty much all physical damage. We're going to dodge our way through here and just buff up a bunch of dodge here. And Kane's going to get a full clutch here. Like when I did on my main account, uh, pets weren't a thing yet, so we didn't have Kane. But even I remember just dodging my way through it. Alright, we're gonna win this here. Kane's gonna finish it. Just like this. Bye bye. Kane deleted you. Look at that damage. Nice. Alright, so what do we need? We need three star on this one, so let's try this again. All right. Dang it, Maya died this time. Well, I guess we'll have to come back and three-star those other missions later. All right, but... Eternal season, so we can do Ishmael here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Titan potions. So let's see what we can do here. Um, yeah, like so. If we, I do think that is the best. We'll see. Dante might get them, but they have a chance. So. Aurora should beat this one, though. They're trying to tank with Kark, which is not recommended. Oh, shoot. Maybe not. We might just... We're getting wrecked by status effects. Just like that. Got stunned. That's why Sebastian's a good hero. Like I said, we aren't playing with real teams, so... <laughs> there we go. Ishmael's level 7. There we go. Oh, well. Trying to play with, like, two hero teams. You know, there is there is a limit there. Let's see where we can find... Wow, level 130s. There you go. Trinity Twins. There's a good team. I mean... We might be able to get it full auto though so it's like you're kind of this one's about our level we can do this one I don't think we're gonna do it. Roar was top DPS though. 
one we just lost to. Oh, this one should be a good... This one we should probably be able to get. Let's do this one. Oh, wow. We did not dodge that one very well. Close. We're getting killed by Celeste. By Celeste uh, Cursed Flame, though. We really need Sebastian, but we're kind of just waiting for the right uh, theme. Ah, uh, we could probably take this one. Let's try it. Besides, status effects are like what kills us 90% of the time. Yeah. There you go. Tires a win. This one should be doable. It's at about the same level as us. It's an Arachnomaya team, so we'll see. We have a Mira who will do a lot of damage, but we'll see. Nope. Just a bit, like I said, Chorus does a lot, but it looks like Amira just killed us with their pearl. Amira's pretty dangerous. I actually think Amira's pretty decent as a DPS. Like, all of her other abilities are pretty much garbage, but her ult is pretty good. Ooh. Come on, let's see what else we got. Oh man. If it wasn't for Jorgen, I think that would be an easy win. Jorgen oh, makes it harder. Don't want Sebastian to protect us from Jorgen, so that's kind of... They're low power, but my gosh, that's like 20 levels above me. Come on, I need to... Wow, a Kark team. Alrighty, we might try the one with the Yorkin then. What is this one? We'll try this one. I'm not seeing much better, so...
Nope. Like I said, this is what I mean by Jorgen. Right, I said. If it wasn't, like I said, this is why we need Sebastian, is stuff like this. Like I said, if we had Sebastian, that's an easy win, but oh well, that's probably where we end the arena today. So let's go hang out with, say hi to Osh. Go say hi to Osh, anything cool? Not really. Okay, so let's grab our freebies though. We got some stuffs. Let's see if we can level up any aspires here. I mean... So let's see. So if we, like, let's try these four together and then try, I guess, Galahad. That might work better than what we've been doing previously, so. Said Kane does a lot of damage here. Heroes buffed. So we want to make sure Kane's ults always go towards Ash, though, so we gotta watch our auto here. Oh no, it hit the stupid sphere. Dang it. Didn't see that sphere pop up. Should've just hit auto. Should've left it in auto. We're being greedy. This is what happens when you get greedy. Could've got like another 100k. Oh well. K is not bad. Alright, and then we'll do Aurora with some level 1 heroes. Let's see, actually, let's see, what do we got? We got so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the next best. So those are the next best. Okay. So if we do that, then we'll do Aurora at the next. Okay, we'll do that. We'll see, maybe they can get some damage in. Nope. All right, we'll take the rest, best of the rest here. They're all level one.
Make sure Kane's ult hits Osh. Look at that, it's like a machine gun. <laughs> she goes berserk. Berserk, berserk. <laughs> nice buffs. Gotta not waste Kane's ult here. Booyah! And... Million damage. Nice. So we got 1.8 million total. Except we made sure all that went to Osh, so that's like almost half a million damage right there. Booyah. So we missed only two of these, so that's pretty good. Alright. Logs. So let's see if we can do any of this stuff now. Kind of do want to wait for that. Um, we do get stuff if we do Ascension Spire Glyph. Uh, should do like one. Fine, we'll do that. Get that quest at least three times. Like, I don't know if we really got stuff to do another one with, so. But that's fine. I mean, we could do like lesser stuff but we really like said so this this guild really needs to like start doing like higher end uh, raids but uh yeah that should conclude this episode um we probably so not quite high enough to cut off time but uh yeah uh thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon